Well, parts of one of the oldest buildings in Mount Airy becoming a thing of the past after a section of it collapsed. The community coming out tonight to witness the partial demolition of the historic Main Oak Building downtown. Yeah, it started in the early morning hours today when bricks just started falling from the building and not long afterwards the roof started caving in. I was thinking, thank goodness this yes. didn't happen in the middle of the day when many others, including a lot of tourists, would have been in that downtown area. Fox Ace Daryl Matthews live on North Main Street in Mount Airy tonight. Daryl, what new updates has the city given you? Yes, yeah, so about an hour ago, Neil, the crew started to tear away at this building facing the North Main Street here in Mount Airy. Step aside, give you a little bit of glimpse of what we're doing. So they've been out here for 17 hours. And as you can see, they started to actively tear at the top of that roof to make sure that everything is secured, at least the portion of this building. And inspectors on the scene tell me they're not leaving this area until the portion that is able to be secured is okay. To, to have a catastrophe like this happen really is going to leave a, a gaping hole in, in our Main Street, uh, our Main Street facade. The Main Oak Emporium building on North Main Street, known for its history in downtown Mount Airy, now on the verge of being knocked down, at least partially. It's a major event for this particular building to come down. Mount Airy police say a patrol officer noticed bricks falling from the building early Tuesday morning. Minutes later, witnesses say the roof started to cave in. It is history that has just crumbled. That building has been here ever since I was a little girl, ever since my mom was a little girl. Throughout the day, crews have been working to figure out a plan to remove the wall of the building facing North Main Street and prevent any more damage to the area and nearby stores. Crews on the scene say the plan is to also remove this cell booster from the middle of the rubble. This is a building that's that's been part of the, the downtown landscape for well over 100 years. Since the early 1900s, this building was the host for several retail hardware stores and most recently was included in talks of bringing more visitors to the area as a short-term rental. And we're looking at developing a huge uh, uh, Airbnb type establishment over there that was going to put a lot of visitors right in our front door and that is certainly something that uh, that we were looking forward to and so um, this is obviously going to impact that a gigantic hole in history also leaving a hole in the hearts of this community scale catastrophes are are not unknown to places like mount area or, or most small towns um, it, it's it's how the community uh, adapts and overcomes in, in the face of that adversity and and Inspectors on the scene tell me they're still trying to figure out why this building started to collapse in the first place. He also tells me right now they're still trying to work out a time frame where these stores in this downtown area can reopen. For now, we're live in Mount Airy. Daryl Matthews, Fox 8 News.